Now, how many of y'all was paying attention to the Women's March last week? Then y'all know what was going on? Y'all watched it? Y'all watched that? Okay, you didn't watch it. You knew what was going on. What was that march really about? What was it about? What would you say was it about? Uh, huh? Okay, so it was going into equality, right? Women's rights. Still in 2017, they say where women don't have equal rights. Now, at the same time with women's rights, all right, the women going for their rights, what is going on amongst the nation of the so called black and Hispanic in America, the African American? What predominant movement is going on right now? It's called Black what? Black, black Lives Matter, right? Now that movement is supposed to be based towards the whole nation. All, all so-called black men, black women, right? Proving that our lives matter. And what happens when all the black, the black man and black woman are together pushing that movement? Then what is crept in? They say what? No, let's not make it about the man and the woman. Let's make it about the woman and they're pushing woman rights again. Guess when that happened before? In the 60s and 70s, guess what happened? Women's rights came, right? Why? Because we had the Black Panther movement, we had the Nation of Islam, we had a lot of predominantly black movements that were taking place that benefited the whole community of the African American community, uh, the minority community. Right. Now, I say that to say this. Our people, the first people to jump into that is our, our woman, the black woman, right? Meanwhile, Psalms 94 and 16, let's get to Psalms chapter 94 verse 16. This is what God says about that movie. Who will rise up for me? Who will do what? Who will rise up for me? God saying, okay, I hear you talking about women's rights. I hear you talking about Black Lives Matter. But read. Who will rise up for me? God says, who will rise up for who? For me. Read. Against evildoers. Against what? Against evildoers. Read. Or who will stand up for me against workers of iniquity. God is having his own movement as well. He wants to know which one of you black men, black women is going to stand up for him. Right. That's what we are here teaching y'all right now. Y'all must come back into your role. Does God have order amongst men and women? Does he have an order? You say yes? You say yes? No? Tatiana? No, you Tatiana. Okay, well. Kayla. All right. Now, God has an order. Guess what? Do you think God approves of a woman's right march? Say yes? No? Let's read. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. We're going to see what God says about that woman's right thing going on. And not saying that women ought to be treated less than a man. Absolutely not. You get the same respect and honor. But certain things are not made for women. And certain roles are not made for women. Thus saith the Lord. Alright, read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Read. But I will have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. All right. Our head, the person we answer to, the person we obey is Christ. Y'all understand it? Read. And the head of the woman. And the head of the what? And the head of the woman. So guess what? Y'all got somebody y'all got to answer to. The head of the woman. Read. Is the man. Is the what? Is the man. So who is your head? Who do you answer to? Christ. You asked the who? Right. No. What did it read it again? But I will help you know uh -huh. that the head of every man the head of is every, Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Hold on. Read. And the head of the woman uh -huh. is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. So who do if if you were married, do you go to Christ or do you go to your husband? I will go to Christ. I will go Ooh. to a God fearing man. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, you correct. Oh, That's it. Now, what you just said, you said you're going to go straight to Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Give me Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 24, I think it is. Now, what you said, that's that's a Christianity doctrine, right? Because a lot of people say I'm married to Christ. or uh, But when you do that, when you say you want to go straight to Christ, you are out of order. Because we just read the order. Well, I feel what, like... what was the order that we just read? Who was the head of, who was the, head of the man? Christ. Christ. Who was the head of the woman? A God-fearing man. A God-fearing man. Absolutely correct, sis. I'm glad you stated that point. You got it? Ephesians 5 and 20. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. Listen good. For the husband is the head of the wife. For the what? For the husband is the head of the wife. Listen good. Read. Even as Christ 
is the head of the church. Even what? As Christ is the head of the church. So your husband fulfills that role of Christ in your household. That's you right. don't go directly to Christ. Right. Because Christ is going to deal with your husband. Your husband is going to deal with you. Hold on. Keep reading. And he is the Savior. And he is the what? Savior. And he is the Savior. Read. Of the body. Uh -huh. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ. As the church is subject unto Christ. Read. So let the wives. So let the what? So let the wives. So let the wives. The woman. Read. Be to their own husbands read, in no, everything. Let, no, let them be unto Christ. Be unto their own husbands. In everything. So you are to be a subjection unto your husband in everything. Right. And if you don't have a husband right now, you are to be a subjection unto the leadership. Under. Like if you go to a church, you deal with the deacon or the pastor, whoever that may be. You understand that? Um, I, yeah. Okay. Um, however, you said that the women's march was, <clears throat> that's not against the women's march, but let's say that the men are yeah, not right. acting right. So women are supposed to just be like, Great question. <laughs> uh, say that again since what? <laughs> Absolutely correct. Because this is why. Jeremiah 31 and 22. What we are seeing today in 2017 is absolutely out of order. There was, there, show me a woman's march in the scripture. Show me where all our four mothers got together and they said, you know what? These men ain't doing what we supposed to. We gonna, we gonna run. That's not what happened. A God-fearing woman, guess what? They're going to direct their man away. I'm going to give him the correct counsel to do what he's supposed to be doing. But there's never been a situation where no man is doing what they're supposed to. Read that. Jeremiah 31. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 22. But on the flip side, read that. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? If somebody is backsliding. Is that good or bad? That's bad. God calls the nation of Israel a backsliding daughter. Right. For the Lord has created a new thing. Because we are a backsliding nation, the Most High God has created a new thing. Read. In the earth. Uh-huh. A woman a shall. A what? A woman. A woman. Shall compass a man. A woman shall compass a man. That's what's happened here in 2017. Right. But guess what? Now, when the men that are doing what they're supposed to try to enforce what the Bible says, the wicked woman will have a problem with that. Right. But we just read what the Bible said in Ephesians 5 and 24. It says, let the wives be subject unto who? Unto their husbands in all things. You understand that, sis? Now, what is your role? What should you woman be desiring to do? 1 Timothy 5 and verse 14. I'm going to show you God has instructions for each and every one. You can work. You can have a job. You can do all that. But guess what? God has something else for you as well. That's and he right. says you have to fulfill. Read that. 1 Timothy. Chapter 5, verse 14. Listen good. I will therefore that the younger woman. God says, I will therefore that the younger woman. Read. Marry. Do what? Marry. Be single. Marry. Get a, hundred, a six figure job. Marry. And, 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 and sleep whoever they want to. Marry. God says that you should marry. Read. Bear children. No, get an abortion. Bear children. Get a morning after pill. Bear children. Marry. Bear children. Read. Guide the house. No, I don't want to go home. Guide the house. God says that you all should be guiding your house. Read. Give none occasion to the adversary uh -huh. to speak reproachfully. So, that's your role. That's what God wants us to do. Now, in doing that, you are fulfilling your original creation plan from God. Why did God create Eve? Oh, she hit it right on the head. To be a help. Me. Now, how is it in 2017 that that's not going on anymore? There you go. There you go. There you go. Give me Genesis 2. I want to read that scripture just in case any of y'all don't believe it. The woman was created for who? For me. For the man. The woman was created for the man from the beginning. From the beginning, that is your job. That is your job. Read that, Genesis 2 and 18. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Uh -huh. And the Lord God said, uh -huh. it is not good. It is what? It is not good Read. that the man should be alone. God said it's not good that man should be alone. Read. I will make him a help meet for him. I will do what? I will make him 
a help meet for him. So when he saw Adam by himself, he says, I'm going to create a help meet for him, meaning just right. Just right for him. Now give me uh Sirach 20 with a hedge, 26 and 25. I'm gonna show you why a woman are at a lower state today. Because we have a lot of beautiful women, we have a lot of smart women, we have a lot of uh, financially more well-off women. But when you actually meet some of these sisters, or when you start dating these sisters, you find out they kind of jumped up in the head. All right? A lot of times. Not all of them. Not saying that all of them messed up. But they have been fulfilling the lust that they want, the doctrines that this world pushes, and it's out of line with the Bible. That's why most marriages inside of the black and Hispanic community, it ends up in divorce. Because even though they're married, they still have that philosophy that you said. They think they're married to Christ, meaning they don't respect who. If you're married to Christ, who are you not respecting? You're not respecting your husband. Right. If I answer to Christ, I don't answer to you. You're just a nigga. You answer to the white man. That's who your God is. Instead of the man that's actually who Christ said is your head. Right. Y'all understand that? That's disorder in the household. Read that. Sirach chapter 36, verse 25. Uh -huh. Where there where no hedge is. Where there's no hedge. What's a hedge? What is a hedge? Okay, you say it's a push thing. Okay, so. Huh? A barrier. There you go. It's protection. Like that cement, that's a hedge for the moat. So the moat doesn't over to go out into the sidewalk. That's a that's a, that's what a hedge. So it says, read it again. Where no hedge is. Where no hedge is. Read. There the possession is spoiled. There the possession is spoiled. The possession are you woman. It's a beautiful thing. It's a prized possession to get a good woman. Right. When you right. read Proverbs 31, it says uh, that the woman is, is more precious than root or gold. But where there's no hedge, that possession, that beautiful thing is spoiled. That's where you end up with, like I said, you end up with the sister that doesn't respect her husband. You end up with the sister that wants to be the man in the relationship. You end up with the sister that every time the husband says something, she got 500 words coming back. And it's just, the man don't even want to come into the house no more. Right, right. Y'all understand that? Because they never humbled down to these scriptures. So read verse 24 first. Sirach chapter 36, verse 24. That's what God says. He that getteth a wife. He that getteth a wife. Read. We get it a possession. So when you get a wife, that's like getting a prized possession. That's like getting a prized possession. Because without a woman, can we have can we have children? No. That's how you start your foundation, your generation. It comes when you get a wife. That's the role that you all have to fulfill. Read. A help like unto himself. And you are going to become a help like unto himself. Meaning you are going to learn how to take care of that man. You're going to learn how to cook. You're going to learn how to clean. You're going to learn what things he likes, what he doesn't like. That's right. what God said you should do. Read. And a pillar of rest. God said that the woman should be a what? A pillar of rest. What does that mean? Somebody somebody explain that to me in labor term. What's a pillar of rest? <laughs> Comfort. What else? Um, like if they're tired and they, can, they don't want to have to argue with you. They want to come home and rest. They want to come home and have comfort. They want to come home and have somebody to talk to you about that talk. There you go. There you go. But let me ask y'all this, sisters. Was they teaching this at the Women's March? When they had a million women in front no. of them, was they going over this? No. Mm -hmm. they, they weren't going over that. They were going over, we want to get paid more. Right. We want more rights. We want more health benefits. That's what they were talking about. They weren't talking about the things that are going to benefit our nation. Because guess what happens when that man is taken care of and that woman is taken care of? What's going to happen to them children? Everything, Everything is going to be set in order. That's right? right. And guess what? The nation of Israel will come back. That's right. Y'all understand that? But as long as we keep having these women rights movements, as long as we keep having Black Lives Matter, all these things going on, taking us away from the scriptures, we will remain in this situation. Right. I don't know if y'all know or not, but y'all know how long we've been in America? For over 400 years. Yeah. And guess what? We've been doing the same thing years after year after year. Protesting, rioting, and marching. When are we going, when are we going to open up this Bible and apply the scriptures? Give me Jeremiah 2 and 11. Bring it up. We have yet to understand that the, the, the solutions that the white man set up for us is not for us. We just had a black president for how many years? Eight years. What changed? Nothing. Nothing. 
And guess what? As long as we go through politics, as long as we go through the white man's religion, as long as we go through the white man's education system, nothing's going to change. The hood is still the hood, right? Our women are still being degraded and disrespected. Our men are still walking around with their pants below their waist, even though they saw. I don't know what better example you can give than the President of the United States, right? They call him the most powerful man on the face of the earth. Did he low ride once? No, he pulled his pants up. Did that change the hearts and minds of our people? No. But you know what will? Fight. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.